Hi guys. Hey people. I'm Nick. I'm Shelly. You are watching Black Nation TV and we are Prime Obsession. Yeah. We are at the Linfield House today in Auckland Park on 72 Richmond Avenue. So yes, today we are bringing you here to give you a whole lot of information about the Victorian and Edwardian era. Yeah, because this house is it's inspired by the Victorian and, and Edwardian era. It wasn't built in that era, but it's a museum inspired by that period. So yeah, this house was originally designed by Herbert Baker. It was originally a small cottage and it was designed in 1892. Yes, that's what we got. Yeah. <laughs> this house is owned by Catherine Love, who is going to take us around the whole tour of the house. So and that you, yeah, so that you can see what this house is about, what it houses inside. You'll get bedrooms, you'll get bathrooms, your dining areas, your withdrawing room, as she calls it. So yeah. Check it out, the, uh, the house has 22 rooms. So let's do it. Let's do it. Let's go. Shop, my guy. The house is a Victorian and Edwardian inspired house, so it has not been like this since 1837, which is when the Victorian era began. The Linfield House is, however, known as a provincial heritage site and was originally called Grey This museum houses some of the most authentic Victorian rooms and allows one to step back into time to experience the lavish Victorian style. The Victorian era was known for its intricate and highly decorative styles. The rooms are very orderly and ornamentated, as you can see. Victorian houses were divided in rooms where public and private areas were carefully divided. It was very eclectic, a combination of different styles from different periods, such as the Renaissance, the Romanesque, and Gothic styles, just to name a few. Victorian homes were very opulent and highly decorative. Their rooms were considered to be in poor taste, so every surface was filled with decoration. The choice of color in Victorian homes was based on the use of the room. The increased number of mass production at that time also gave access to increased numbers of wallpaper and wall coverings. Wallpaper was often made in elaborate, elaborate floral patterns with primary colors in the background. These patterns would then be overprinted with cream or tan colors. Okay guys, so we are back in studio from the Linfield house. So yes, expect silhouettes that mimic the Victorian era. Expect a whole lot of prints. Colors, textures, yeah, so we're gonna do it right now. This is the outfit of the day, inspired by the Victorian era, inspired by Linfield House. As you can see, we took a beautiful embroidered top, crochet to be quite exact, uh, that mimics the ceilings that you saw in the Linfield House with the uh, uh, centerpiece, which, which is the ceiling rose. You can see that with the detail. Off the top. We took the gold neck pieces, the gold chains that also mimic gilded mirrors and all the decorative motifs that happen in the utensils that the people used to use in the Victorian era. Moving down to the skirt, it is very bright and bold and printed. Floral prints were very uh, 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 the in thing in the Victorian era, as you can see for yourself. It, it, it comes from the wallpaper in the house, all the bedding prints and all those things. This is Victorian. So we balanced out the skirt with the red shoes so that you get a sense of a modern feel, you know. You can look great, look modern while you took things from the Victorian era. So that is it. And then moving on to the jewelry here, as you can 
see for yourself. Very modern, but it also links to the gilded things in the house. Gilded means you just have gold on top of your mirrors and things. Yes, that's what it means. So this is it. This is the outfit of the day. The model can do a 360. You can see button detail. The rouging of the skirt. So yeah, that's what it is. Outfit of the day. Victorian era inspired. Lindfield House inspired. Thank you.